Hi, in this part, we will quickly look at multimodal RAG. So, RAG is a is a type of, I would say, a technology where you build, you chunk your documents, and you create a vector database. When we talk about multimodal, it means the system's ability to handle and process multiple data formats. The data can be in the form of text, images, video, or audio files. That is the key advantage of multi modality multi modality means you can accept any uh, form form of documents images videos audios and it allows for a more comprehensive and context rich responses so what is the real use case for using multi model systems one is you want to build a very versatile ai applications and what can these applications do? They can understand and generate information across a wide range of data types. So they have potential applications in various fields which can involve information retrieval, question answering, content generation, and personalized uh, recommendations. So what you necessarily do is you provide inputs to this model. You The inputs can be in the form of text, images, videos, audio files. These documents, like, can you use any any of those documents? You can use as long as these are considered to be knowledge based for your models. If these are knowledge based for your models, you should use them as inputs. And then comes the theory piece where you know this portion, this portion is called the theory process. So the user submits a theory in the form of text, question. Or seeking information, or it is trying to complete a specific task. Okay, once that is happened, what next? There has to be a retrieval process. This is called multi-model retrieval, where the system tries to retrieve the relevant information from multi-model documents based on the user's queries. So you have a document base, which is in the form of image, text, videos, contents, etc., and uh, when you fire a query, it goes there and searches this document base and see if any snippets, hear me out, if any snippets match the query's intent. If it matches, it will be fetched for the retrieval process. Now you might ask, okay guys, where does LLM or generative models fit in this large context? It fits in right here. Where LLM, it processes the retrieved information. It generates a comprehensive response to the user's query so that you can understand. So it's trying to formulate, okay, you ask X, X, X question. It is going to answer to all of these three points. So it tries to generate a comprehensive response to your queries, the user's queries. And what can be this response be? It can be in the form of again a text. It, there can be a textual response. It can be in the form of structured data where you know you get a table tabular format where you get employee numbers, their salaries, and so on. It can be in that format, or it can even be a combination of different modalities. It can be a text plus an image, it can be a small video clip plus a text, or so on. Okay, now the LLM has done its bet. What next? So the response has to be given now. The response. That is the output. So the system presents a generated response to the users. This response, mind you, this response is tailored exactly to the user's queries and it incorporates relevant information which is present in the multi-model document, the document base, which is a form of text, image, documents videos audios okay so that was it we discussed what is a multi-model rag pattern and what are the important elements of that pattern this will help you stay uh, abreast with the technological advancements this channel is always dedicated to help you with latest niche technologies cloud certifications and so on so stay tuned subscribe to this channel and become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja member which gives you access to a lot more content 
which are important for certifications, primarily AWS, Azure, and GCP, as well as uh, a lot of information around recent uh, cutting edge technologies. See you in the next part.